Hello everyone, Zena Zuma here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time, we dealt with the one and had an unexpected error. This time, so, now you will have me. A weird walk. The Punjo stuck Mickey Grabber Mogo. Cachicho Ita Haldonga. Topa the Bong Walia Gando de Nago Chocho. Tong Hai Wam Chigi Yuma Lita at Inco Tu. Topa the Bong Walia Gando de Nava Chocho. Cachicho the Punjo stuck Mickey Grabber Mogo. Cachicho Ita Haldonga. Topa the Bong Walia Gando de Nago Chocho. Don't hang on, Gigi Yuma Lita, and Inko Tu. Talk about the Bong Walia Gando de Nava Chocho. You say we'll be working together then. The Bong just stuck Mickey Grabber Mogo. Cachicho Ita Haldonga. Talk about the Bong Walia Gando de Nago Chocho. Don't hang on, Gigi Yuma Lita, and Inko Tu. Talk about the Bong Walia Gando de Nava Chocho. Cachicho Ita Haldonga. Yuma Lita Inko Tu. Jelomoran Benimo. Why do I go in alone? The Gonjo stuck Miki Grabber Mogo. Cachicho Ita Haldonga. Topa the Bong Walia Gando de Nago Chocho. Moga Shaponka. Bola Wanache. Tong Hai Wam Chigi Yuma Lita Ad Inko Tu. Topa the Bong Walia Gando de Nava Chocho. Cachicho Ita Haldonga. Yuma Lita. When I'm ready, I'll go into the temple alone. Rondi Haldonga Ku Honga Bi. Wala Kumbes. I'm going to enter the temple now. The Gonjo stuck Miki Grabber Mogo. Kachicho Ita Haldonga. Topa the Bong Walia Gando de Nago Chocho. Moga Shaponka. Then why am I going in alone? Tong Hai Wam Chigi Yuma Lita Ad Inko Tu. Topa the Bong Walia Gando de Nava Chocho. Kachicho Ita Haldonga. Yuma Lita. Kachicho Ita Haldonga. Yin King Kuno Ba Mulira Chikun. Slimo Putona. Ronde. Don't hide one chigi yuma lita al inko tu. Talk to the bong walia gando de nava chocho. And... We do have to... Go alone. I believe though... I don't know what that noise is. Yeah, but we can... Stop... People following us. Here. Let's go. Actually, I keep doing that. We're going to a place that is important. Let's bring Bastila's lightsaber. We'll save Bastila and we'll use her lightsaber to do it. A bit poetic. Anyway. And then we'll give her back our lightsaber. And there is the elders. Johnny, wait, you can't go in there alone. What are you doing here? We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. 
You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with Dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. <laughs> Julie, you can't come. The rat, the Rakta, won't allow it. Your destiny, maybe the fate of the entire galaxy, could be forever changed inside that temple. I'm not about to let you face that alone. Not after my premonition. There's a reason I had that vision. Julie speaks for both of us. You must enter the temple, but we must go with you. So you just tell that guide of yours to do whatever he has to do to get us all inside the temple. I'm not going in after all the shields. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. I cannot destroy the Star Forge alone. It must come with me into the temple. I am a teacher. 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 As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. And welcome to the penultimate dungeon. And welcome to some horror. Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. That is creepy. I should add, Melon Cough Melon. Revan Cough Malak's lower jaw. We might as well rank you up quickly, Julie. Because you're going to need it. Control droid. Oops. That is really loud in my ear. That does not sound like, say, Juhani. Oh, 
Two locker. Prototype droid target program. Okay. Do I need to get to the other one? Unlock security door. Download the area schematics. Let's move. Rusted droid. And let's just repair it to full operation. Got a lot of droid stuff, but not really too useful. We're getting a lot of stems from these guys. A lot of stems. <sighs> Credits are not going to be too useful. Disable it. 
or to see the shields, or we could just do this. One of them will destroy each other. solo mode. Our droid buddy came in here. Granted, he really didn't do a good job, but hey, we're not here to see if he did a good job or not. And we can get some more crystals. Crystals. Let's go to the crystals. Who dares intrude on our meditations? You know the penalty for... Revan, you are back. I am Revan, no longer. I serve the Light and the Jedi Council. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not fit to rule the Sith anymore, Revan. Darth Malak will reward us greatly for destroying you. For the order! Series in quite short, even though no really point. Revan, Lord Malak told us you still lived. At last, the challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored with slaughtering these mindless training droids. I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. The only Sith Master that talks to us.
we'll get another crystal. Now let's collect everything from here and then go lower. Some grenades. I don't know why the stealth generators are there, if I'm being real. Because honestly, they're worthless. Let's, let's just go deeper. Deeper. I believe we opened this box, but let's go if I have. Even though it just happened a few moments ago. Uh. Open the door to the next floor as we rise around. We've got stairs. We break the stairs as we bring. Yeah, we have a lot of. It. And the temple door. This forsaken puzzle. I'm saving because this puzzle is aggravating. Turn off and turn off. Turn on, turn off, turn off solo mode. I believe No, it's It's a weird Sad There we go. No! God. There we go. I can turn off solo. And there's a... Rakta? Yenge kungo ba mole na chiko. Tonga e tung kong chen. Ne bobo je mata, ne pong naj. Rondi hao donga ku honga bi. Wala kung bes. Cheng pala mole tong king ba no kong ke. Tuk ning ta cho kong. Ne tong hai kwam chiki yuma lipta ag inko tu. Tok da bong kualia gando de na aga cho cho. Ta kong jos tak miki grabber mogo. Ka chicho ita hao donga. Topa de bon guaria gando de nago chocho. Ta con jostak miki grabber mogo. Kachicho ita haudonga. Topa de bon guaria gando. Kachicho ita ho... Ton hai guam chiki yuma lipta ag inko tu. Topa de bon guaria gando. Ta con jostak miki grabber mogo. Kachicho ita haudonga. Rondi haudonga ku honga vi. Wala kumbes. Cheng pa... Ita na tanya ita. Wata yap. The computer is done. For a moment, I thought there was another set of active droids on some bloke. This is the first time I've seen these droids. But. 
here we are. Let's go the long way around to the top of the temple. Oh, oh, oh. What the beast trap has mal except for us? Oh, oh, oh. Finally, the last door. This isn't our last door to open. That was anticlimactic. But, I'm going to do something once we reach the top. I'm going to make a new save. I am merely saving now because this area sometimes crashes. Saving. If you've been paying attention to this theme, should be recognizable to you guys. We've been keeping up the LP or a plates game. It's the theme of Bastola. Sadly, seems we came too late. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly. Bestilla, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. Else is right now. This is split point. Be careful of your choices. No, Bastila. Don't go over to the dark side. You say that as if the dark side is some terrible entity. The Jedi Council has brainwashed you like all the others. Like they once did with me. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. It's not too late, Basila. You can still turn away from the dark side. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call him master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while, they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. You were the one living a lie, Revan. The Jedi Council made you into something you are not. They programmed you to be their slave. You used to be Revan, Master of the Sith. But no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve. Like I was. Until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Stronger even. But that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. You were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Seems that Malak was wrong. 
power of the dark side has not lost you after all, Revan. I draw my power from the light now, Bastel. You can deny what you are, Revan, but you're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I have seen the shadows inside your mind, remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. And th that is how I know you'll come back to life. These are not your true feelings, Revan. You are speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who followed the Jedi Code. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. Learn from my mistakes. It is not too late to come back to the light. Mistakes? No, Revan. The only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. I'm not Revan anymore. I don't even remember those days. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power... Your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Turn away from this path, Bastel. The dark side leads only to destruction. Bastila, it is not too late for you to be saved. The teachings of the Jedi can lead you from the dark side back into the light and the true understanding of the Force. You are beneath my contempt, Juhani. When you felt the power of the dark side, you fled to a cave like some cowering animal. You know nothing of the Force or its true potential. But you, Revan, the power of the dark side is yours to command. You can use it to destroy Malak. With my help, you could rule over the entire galaxy. The Dark Lord. Revan is dead. I am a servant of the light now. You were a pathetic fool, Revan. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. But now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. At any point, you will be on the path to the dark side. Be careful. However, we did not follow. Sadly, we can't just return to the Ebon Hawk. We actually have to walk out. Walk out. The shame and pain that we failed in trying to save Bastel. But we've got a new mission. A mission to stop Malak. Bring back Bastila. Two different missions. Let's return to the Ebon Hawk. We 
have one final thing we can do. You yeah, know we can't. We've got to walk back. Because it's cutting before that. back. But where's Bastila? Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? <laughs> Bastila spawned to the dark side. She fled to the star The forest. dark side? Bastila? No! No! How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. She can still be safe, can't she? Malak has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories. And also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for her, right? I mean, Revan rejected the dark side, so Vasila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. We can try. We will. I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt. But let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. We'll be able to prepare, then Hawk's hyperdrive. But before that... Got some. Uh. How may I... Of course, now it comes up. Well, I mentioned before that my parents had fled to Taris. Perhaps I can tell you about that. Please do. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, there had been fighting closer to the Outer Rim worlds. Knew where your species came from? Cathar was there, yes. My people had a great reputation as warriors, and that appealed to the Mandalore version of honor. They sought to test themselves against us, I think. Test themselves by bombing our world, slaughtering my people while they slept or while they ran. Your world was taken uh, easily? Mandalorians fought. They swooped down from space, across the world, firing at anything that moved. They used ships in space to destroy all orbital facilities and bombard the surface. We did resist. And in spite of their violent attack, we did stave them off for quite a while. But in the end, we were doomed. The Jedi could have helped. We were not members of the Republic. Cathar was beyond the edge of the Republic, in the Outer Rim. And besides, they could not have known. Our interstellar communications were the first things the Mandalores hit. All other short-range communicators were jammed. We were on our own. We knew what was coming. We had fought the Mandalorians in the first war against Exar Kun and the Sith. We knew there would be no mercy for us. The most we could do was pack the few of our people who survived onto what few ships remained and send them off into space as fast as they could. Most did not make it. What about your family? My parents carried me as a baby with them, and were lucky enough to escape. They fled as far as they were able, and eventually settled on Taris. They could stand running no further, I think. But Taris was a horrible choice. Dominated by humans, intolerant of other species, made everyday life unnecessarily hard. How did your family cope? My father... My father turned to stimulants. He spent much of his time in local bars and dives. But we are warriors. It runs through our blood. 
And when he was on stems, he, he, he became foolish. He let his warrior nature get the best of him. So he would get intoxicated, and he would fight. And finally, one day, he would die. He died? That's tragic. I don't need your sarcasm or your pity. He died at the hands of another, killed by a man who provoked him into a fight and killed him like an animal. I, I am sorry. I, I cannot talk about this any longer right now. How may I? What? Of course. Of course. She had more dialogue, and we didn't get. We'll get to talk about that later. However, this is where I'm going to sign off. Next time on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic we're going to the Star Forge. It will be one long episode and while it won't be the finale because there will be one more episode because I want to make Malik and the Credits, its own episode. And then obviously, that still will not be the last episode. There'll be more. But, it will be a long one. So, look forward to it. This is Zeno and Azuma, signing out.